Hello everyone. So let's quickly look at this problem. It says when uh, ax cubed plus bx squared plus c plus cx plus 4 is divided by this, this, and this, the remainders are this respectively define a, b, and c. So you can simply see that this is just about remainder theorem. Okay, so solution. The first one is that when our polynomial p of x is equal to a s cubed and then we are told that when x is divided by sorry when p of x is divided by this what it means is that p of minus one is going to be equal to well how did of course you remember how i got that minus one from this equal to zero you will get that x is minus one Okay, so I'm going to substitute here. Minus 1 cube is minus 1. So we'll have minus a and then plus b, then minus c plus 4. And so this should be equal to the remainder gotten, you know, given here, which is 0. And so from here, <clears throat> we can, if we transfer, if we multiply through by negative sign, just to make our a positive, we'll have a minus b which means that a minus b, we can call this equation 1. And then for when a, when p of x is divided by the second one, so let's do for p of, for the second divisor, it will be p of minus 2, and that will be minus 2 raised to the power 3, is going to be minus 8 so we we'll have minus 8a minus 2 raised to the power of 2 is 4 so we'll have plus 4b and then minus 2c and then plus 4 to be equal to the remainder which is 2 and if we multiply through by uh, minus again we'll have 8a which means that 8a minus 4b and then plus 2c if this comes over it will be plus 4 which will be equal to 2 and so we can call this one now equation 2 even though we can divide through here by 2 let's do that if we divide through by 2 we'll have 4a okay so and then finally we can do for uh, the last divisor which is going to be if you equate it to 0, you are going to have that x is minus half. So if we equate p of minus half, we are going to have minus this, minus half raised to power 3 is minus 1 over 8. So we we'll have minus a all over 8. Minus 1 raised to the power of 2, we we'll have 1 over 4, which will be plus b over 4. And then minus half times this is going to give us minus c over 2. And then we'll have plus 4 equal to our remainder here is 1 over 8. And so um, it will be good that we multiply through by the LCM, which is 8. And if we do that, we are going to have 8 multiplying. In fact, let's use minus 8. Minus 8 multiplying this will just give us only a. Minus 8 multiply this will give us minus 2b because 4 will cancel 8 to give you minus 2. Then minus 8 multiplying this will give us plus 4c. And minus 8 multiplying this will give us minus 32. And this will be minus 1. And so finally here you will have that a minus 2b plus 4c is equal to this coming over here. Will give us plus 31 and so we would need to and this is our equation 3 we we'll need to solve equation 1 2 3 that's this this and this uh, simultaneously to be able to get the value for our ABC and how do you do that you will need to at least make one the subject here if we make A the subject or B or C, then we can substitute into the other two equations, and that will give us equations of two equations of two variables, and we can solve by simultaneous 
to get the values of our AMD. Okay, so let's quickly do that. Okay, so we recall that our equations are A minus B is equal to 31. Okay, so now from equation 1, we can write, we take B to this side and take 4 to this side. We will get that B is equal to A plus C minus 4. And so we can substitute this equation to equation 2 and 3. So put, let's call this equation 4. So put equation 4. If we put that, we're going to have 4A minus 2 into A plus C minus 4. And then plus C is equal to 1. And if you simplify that, you will get 2A and we can call this equation 5. And if we put it into equation uh, 3, we are going to have a minus 2 into a plus c minus 4, then plus 4c, and that will be equal to 31. If you simplify this, you are going to get a. Please confirm that these two equations are correct by opening this bracket and simplifying. And then we can solve equation 5 and 6 simultaneously. We will have 2a minus c is equal to minus 7. a minus 2c is equal to minus 23. And um, uh, we can uh, multiply here by 2. So we can eliminate a. If we do that, we are going to have 2a minus c equal to minus 7. And then 2a minus 4c equal to minus 46. And if we eliminate a here, this will go. So minus c minus minus 4c will give us 3c. And this minus this will give us 39. Therefore, our c is 13. If you divide both sides by 3. And then if we substitute c as 13 into equation, Five here we are going to have that 2a minus 13 is equal to minus 7 therefore 2a is equal to minus 7 plus 13 and that will give us 6 so this implies that our a is equal to 3 okay so we have gotten a and c to be 3 so all we need to do is to put the two of them into any of these equations and it will be good to put it in equation 1 and uh, Equation 1 says that a minus a minus b plus c is equal to 4. And so we have our a as 3. Our b is what we are looking for. And c is 13 equal to 4. So if you uh, make b the subject now, this plus this is 16 minus b is equal to 4. So this is going to give us 16 minus 4 is equal to a so equal to b therefore our b is equal to 12. so finally our a is 3 b is 12 and c is 13 okay and that's the required solution and that's where we'll end it for this video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and we'll see you in our next video bye